Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you how to make the rosemary butter for hair regrowth, fullness and thickness and also this is going to give you long hair very very fast. This is great to grow hair in a short period of time. So let's start. So the first thing I'm using here are just candle holders. So they're empty so I'm using here and uh, we've already established that I'm a lazy person and I'll do anything not to wash uh, something. So the first ingredient is going to be shea butter. So we are going to use two tablespoons of shea butter. Of course, you can use a double boiler. This is just me being me, so I'm just going to use this because like for me, it's more simple. Now that they melted, we're just going to put them aside and then we're going to start making or mixing the other ingredients. We are going to need one teaspoon of black pepper powder. So this is really important and it's really great for hair regrowth. It increases the blood circulation to the follicles which feeds them. So this is like really great and we need it in this recipe. Then we are going to add one teaspoon of rosemary powder. So you're just gonna buy dried rosemary and then you are going to make a powder and here we are using one teaspoon. So one teaspoon of black pepper powder and one teaspoon of the rosemary. And then we are going to add the melted shea butter. So just like that. So here, as I said, we have two tablespoons. And for the last ingredient, we are going to need rosemary oil. So here I have the homemade rosemary oil where I used grapeseed oil as a carrier and then rosemary, dried rosemary. So here I added one tablespoon of this oil. Of course, if you have one that's already made, you bought it from the store, you can use that one too. This is just to make it more easy for you. And of course, now just mix the ingredients really, really well before the shea butter gets hard. And now we are going to transfer this butter while everything is still smooth to uh, an empty clean container. Make sure it is dry, there is no water in it to avoid fungal growth. Just like that. And for the final step, this is not obligatory, like you can do without it, but like honey works really great for some reason with black pepper for hair regrowth so that's why i added here half a teaspoon of the honey make sure it is organic like if you don't have organic honey do not use it like just uh, use the other ingredients and leave the honey out but if you have the organic one it is really great especially with the black pepper there's some something between these two that they work really great like you can even just mix black pepper with honey and use it only on the scalp, of course, to make like washing easier and you will have great results too. So after cooling down for a little bit, this is how it looks like. It has a butter consistency. It's like creamy, jellified consistency, just like that. So it's no longer runny because we used the shea butter here and shea butter is also great for the scalp and for the hair in general. And for to use this recipe or this rosemary butter, take just a small amount because this formula is really potent. So just take a small amount and then you are going to use it on the scalp only. Do not use it on the rest of the head, just the scalp and do like circular motion. And the great thing about the black pepper here, 
do not grind it really really well it needs to be a little bit uh, grainy so this way it's going to exfoliate and makes this a uh, potent butter go inside like really really deep so just use a small amount on the scalp and use this for three times a week before taking a shower and washing your hair you can also use it once a week it depends on when do you want to see the results and how often do you wash your hair because like this one you cannot just like unless you're not going to get out of the house then of course you can use that with no issues but if you work etc and you go out then once or twice a week is already enough so that's it guys for today's video if you have any questions please leave them down below and uh, i'll see you in the next one bye bye